Good morning, folks. We're starting with the solar eruption, our megafilament half released, mostly south, leaving the northern portion still sitting in an earth facing position. A few hours after the news yesterday, the filament destabilized and erupted, creating an enormous solar tsunami more than 200,000 miles long. Soho and Stereo were slightly lagging updates yesterday, but now we can fully see that the primary plasma bulb is indeed going down south away from all the planets. But you can see ejecta coming from all sides of the central blocking disk. That's a halo eruption. And if a bottom left blast sent particles up and to the right, then the burst is wide enough to encompass Earth. As it's the secondary portion heading our way, there is nothing to fear. Minor magnetic storms are probably the worst we can see. Step in the right direction here, with an overtly politicized climate debate. Perhaps the lack of an answer that the GSA is taking heat for right now is the most appropriate reaction. Humble, doubtful, suspicious. It is indeed time for a clean slate, a new set of eyes on the matter, and a strict no-money rule in the field. But that's just one man's opinion. Folks, the news is too short to lay out the mainstream versus electrical black hole explanations. Suffice to say that what the mainstream calls a black hole keeps throwing the mainstream science curveballs. Their magnetism is at least as powerful as their gravity. Good luck rectifying that. I wonder if these guys know about Dr. Robitaille and Stephen Carruthers. You'll remember a few weeks ago we had the shocker about static electricity. It's just not what we thought. It's likely a mere function of contact electrics rather than simple charge exchange. And where they hypothesize water as a medium for this new wave of science, we are getting a pseudo-confirmation of water's role at this level in our second Berkeley Lab share of the morning. Stepping back for some bad news. Folks, back when we reported the walruses and seals that appeared to have undergone chemo up in Alaska, we said we'd wait for similar wasting diseases further south along the coast. Now, the starfish. It's bad. Quickly looking at seismicity where the top story is a localized swarm over a 12-hour period at the northeast corner of the Pacific Ocean. Eyes open there. Folks, I was kicking myself. I knew the latest ice numbers were coming and that the website maintenance was coming right afterwards. I missed the update. Luckily, Paul Homewood was on point and shared what we can all see in two days when the site returns, yet another record for Antarctic sea ice. We tend to talk in fractions of degrees and incremental steps when it comes to climate change, but the south is more than 10% growth in ice extent. Remember, that's just the portion exposed to our emissions. The natural undersea currents and seafloor events are melting the underside and may break off an ice cube from the west sheet to enter into circulation. Not seen a paper on that one yet. Anywho, Boris! Boris? You don't look so good. In fact, he died overnight and we are without any tropical storms on Earth. Still got a lower two to monitor there. Let's go around the world with the precipitable water overlay. South America with a southward shift to the eastern flood zones down the coastline. South Africa appears to have had a quick crester come through and is already to the east. Very light day down under. We'll have minor precipitation only, mostly at the coastlines. Not the case up in China where another day of deluge is expected where half a million are already under emergency without power, homes, or their livelihoods. Europe, that same eastern line from Greece all the way north remains. Meanwhile, Portugal and Spain need to monitor the convergence coming from the North Atlantic. The U.S.? We caught our butts kicked last night. Coming courtesy of the Weather Channel and Twitter users, we saw baseball-sized hail and tremendous damage. When we discuss climate extremes, we don't just mean hot and cold, drought and floods, but stronger tornadoes, stronger winds, and bigger hail. A lot bigger. As the weather gets worse and worse, this will become the new normal and then a fond memory compared to what our planet offered our ancestors during the last grand solar minimum. As for tonight, the lows remain and we are currently eyeing this swath for tonight's weather emergencies. Please be on alert. We jump to solar flaring. Solar flubbing is more like it. The current sunspots are silent, but we are starting to see some new ones. We now have two baby regions that did not exist yesterday, and both have beta magnetics at worst. Possibly better. Hello, little guys. Solar wind telemetry is calm, and our shield is in control. The northern extension to the southern coronal hole faded big time last night, likely during the solar tsunami intrusion. I want to mine that area while not losing sight of the green, positive trans-equatorial incomer that is about a week away, if not less. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.